The November maintenance patch just dropped. I'll make this video quick and dirty, because I'd rather be working on my upcoming one about engineer builds. In this video, I'll touch on the things I see as relevant to gameplay balance, most pressing of which, the stubby changes, the coil gun rework, and king tail nerfs. The whole change log can be found on Steam or in the official Discord. With Phage as a whole got nerfed, you'll on average just get infected less. All these things are good, if not particularly gameplay changing. They're not super transformative, and they don't fix my problems with Lith of Age, so I still won't be playing with Rockbox, but for those of you who like their current state, or liked their current state, this is good. Makes them a little less annoying overall. Septic Spreaders also got a change to their projectiles, which now you can shoot down into four smaller projectiles. This is a fun and interactive change that adds counterplay to septics, even if they were never a particularly big problem before, in my opinion. The Stingtail also got a pretty big rework. They've had their health massively reduced, gotten some vulnerabilities, and have also gotten a ranged nerf and a cooldown nerf to their grabs. Now, in my opinion, these are all fine, but they haven't addressed the intrinsic problems. In fact, they're probably a little bit too much when it comes to health, as I've seen some people talking about. However, this method of balancing by Ghost Ship is intrinsically feast or famine. That is, the Stingtails still regularly can insta-kill you. It still is the hardest enemy in the game to dodge. It's still by far the most common. It's just now, if you kill them instantly because they have low health, they don't do any of that. That's not good to me. I want Stingtails to be consistently reasonably dangerous, rather than sometimes not dangerous at all, and sometimes they just instantly kill you. I think they should have reworked how they grab you, because one of the big problems with dodgeability right now is the fact that the Stingtail will grab you at the same speed, no matter how far away from them you are. So if you're at 15 meters away, they'll grab you in the same time it takes them to grab someone that's 1 meter away, for example. They also still have no audio sometimes, which is cool. I think these changes are, on the whole, good, but I still think they should have been changed in a different way, and probably should have their health buffed a bit to compensate. Also, there are a bunch of changes to a bunch of overclocks that aren't related to the coil gun or the stubby. NG received some breach cutter overclock changes. High Voltage Crossover got its electrocution effect extended from 4 seconds to 5 seconds. This is fine. High Voltage Crossover is still not good. But it was never horrible, and making a mediocre or bad option a little bit better is always welcome. Roll control for the breach cutter also got a buff, and a rework in general. Now it has a duration bonus, so your beam will last a little longer in the air. It spins much much faster and spins automatically, which is Overall, good. It spreads out stun more effectively without costing player attention. Now, instead, while you're holding down your trigger, the breach cutter beam will slightly track your cursor. I don't think this is particularly useful, but it's fun and it's not harmful. This overclock is now actually pretty decent in my opinion, uh, and this rework overall was quite nice. Shape Shells for the Boomstick also got a buff in its horizontal spread. I don't think this is necessary, Shape Shells was strong before and it's even stronger now, but it's not overpowering at all and it's just a nice improvement in the consistency and the niche of Shape Shells. Overall, just good. The Quail Gun also got a bunch of changes, which I think were generally pretty good. Firstly, the reload speed mod in tier 2 was entirely removed, replaced by the old tier 1 charge speed mod. In exchange, the Quail Gun now had its reload speed cut from 2.5 seconds to 1.9 seconds. This is in comparison to the 1.5 second reload speed before if you took the reload speed mod in tier 2. 
I think this overall is a good change, which increases the variety in the tier 2 mod picks, because before it was pretty hard to justify taking reload speed over a controlled magnetic flow. The base trail now stacks, and has a new tier 1 mod to boot. The new tier 1 mod increases the trail duration by 2 seconds, and is a good option for stuff that's not Hellfire. The stackable base trail makes triple tech chambers actually quite strong now, especially given that triple tech chambers got a slight damage buff to the mini shots that it has. The tier 5 trail radius got buffed from 0.5 meters to 1 meter, making it more competitive with electric trail in the same tier. This is great, because before, electric trail was basically just an auto pick, but now there's a genuine decision to be made here. Hellfire got nerfed. Finally! Its trail radius buff was just completely removed from the game, very justifiably. Now it has a real trade-off between electricity in tier 5 and trail radius. You probably take trail radius, but you're actually missing out on quite a bit without electricity, because your single charges are not as strong anymore. That being said, Hellfire is still very strong, but this is a great step in the right direction. They also made backfeeding module basically unusable, because now it gives you a 2 second trail length nerf, which is pretty awful. Uh, I don't see why you would take this at all. Before it was not good, now it's even worse. Stubby also got a bunch of changes, but in my opinion they were not nearly enough, and they were misguided, given that most of the changes actually buffed the strongest options and did nothing for the worst, so the gun has even worse build variety now. The recoil changes are almost negligible, and in fact the stubby has even worse vertical recoil if you take the tier 2 mod. The damage upgrades give you 3 extra damage now rather than 2, which is actually quite strong. Compared to before, it's like having an entirely new damage mod for free. In exchange, they nerfed the tier 4 mods from 30% to 25% extra damage on weak point and electricity, which don't really matter. Armor Break was introduced as a new mod in tier 4, which gives you 250% extra armor break. It's sometimes okay for sting tails, but it's honestly not really good, especially given that it doesn't guarantee that you break grunt armor in the first shot. There's a new tier 5 accuracy mod as well, which reduces your spread by 40% multiplicative. However, I think it's almost always weaker than the other options, which are quite strong, almost doubling your mag size or giving your gun some modicum of AoE. Turner also got a bunch of changes, but honestly none of them matter. It's still not good. Current EM Discharge got a buff, which is bewildering to me, because even before it was by far the strongest thing that the stubby did. Now it's even better. This is doubly confusing to me, given that they did not buff other forms of crowd control on the stubby at all. There is no buff to the electricity, there is no buff to the electric arc, in fact they even nerfed the mod which gives you extra damage against electrified targets. However, they did buff single target stubby builds, which were already the, the other option that you had before. EM Refire is now even stronger, actually having Pretty respectable single target damage. It's still, of course, entirely power crept by Executioner for the lock one, having 25 to 50% less DPS, having the same or worse ammo economy, having worse accuracy, and having no armor break, and so on. But it is nice to have a little more parity between. Overall, the stubby changes I think are good for the gun, but they're bad for build variety, and they honestly make very little sense to me. That being said, I think as a whole, the update was pretty good. Adding an option to disable Lithophage for people who don't want to use mods is a good move, though getting it behind level 100 is kind of strange to me. Masteries are cool, I guess. The Stingtail nerf is, in my opinion, more good than bad overall, even if it is misguided. All the weapon balance changes I also think are more good than bad overall, but especially in the case of Stubby, they were just not enough. Despite that, I'm glad we got this update, especially given how many bug fixes we got. Happy mining up there. Walking stone.